Canelo Alvarez needs to fight David Benavides. David Benavides beat up Caleb Plant earlier this year and just knocked out Demetrius Andrade in dominant fashion. He's been asking for the Canelo fight for a while now, and he's shown us that he's worthy of being in the ring with Canelo. Putting all the pressure on Canelo now to make this fight happen. Let's talk about why we need to see this fight in 2024. So David Benavides knocks out Demetrius Andrade in dominant fashion, and the questions are... What's next? And the obvious answer and the only answer is Canelo Alvarez. Um, and, and David's been asking for this fight for a while. And I've also thought like, man, who's David? Why is he asking for this fight? He wants a payday. You know, he's not even really Mexican. You know, just kind of really, you know, talking down on, on David Benavides. But after seeing what he did to Caleb Plant and, you know, last night, seeing what he did to Demetrius Andrade, 32-0, a guy who, who, like, nobody really wanted to fight, and um, he knocked him out, made him look easy, made him look, like, done, you know? And it's really impressive, and this is a fight, I think, that needs to happen next year, no matter what, right? And, and the reason why I say that, the first thing I'm going to say is Canelo's age. Canelo's not getting any younger, Um so it's, you know, to see the best version of Canelo against probably not the best version of David, but close to the best. Because I think David will get better over time, no matter what happens after the, the Canelo fight. But for Canelo, you know, he's in his prime and, and walking towards the end of his prime. So we need to see this fight as soon as possible and make it happen. And, you know, David's young. He's a beast and uh, not as experienced as Canelo. But that's reason number one, um, because over time, Canelo will slow down. He'll start making more mistakes and things like that. And um, hopefully, you know, we don't see too much of that when it does happen. But the age thing is important. And um, having the performance he had recently, uh, Canelo, I mean, he looked great. He looked sharp, did not get tired at all, kept the pace up the whole 12 rounds, just didn't get the knockout. So he goes in there with David and his prime, healthy. We'll see the best version of Canelo, you know? So that's that's what we want um, out of that fight. Now, uh, the second thing is David Benavidez has been calling out Canelo. Not a lot of people call out Canelo and then, you know, half performances like David Benavidez. He's been calling out Canelo. As far as I know, from the calling out, um, he had the fight with uh, Caleb Plant. You know, and I was like, all right, man, let's see what this guy's talking about. He keeps chirping at Canelo. Canelo's my guy. You know, I, I'm supportive. Uh, I'm real supportive of Canelo, you know, glazing the Canelo uh, or the Canelo team and Canelo, whatever, right? So, like, let's check out this fight. Caleb plants nice. I think he'll get the best of David. And, boy, I was wrong. And, and then from there, I was like, man, this guy's, this guy's good. This guy's real good. So, this fight coming up with Demetrius, I was like, oh, snap, like, this is a decent fight, you know? I was watching uh, Demetrius' highlights, his fights, whatever. And I was like, okay, this is a good test for David. I think David should get it done. Um, I thought it was going to go to the 8th or ninth, and that's when he was going to do what he did. But he turned it up so fucking fast. As soon as he figured out Demetrius, which, you know, he started figuring it out like in the 3rd and then the 4th. You know, and I forgot where he got the knockdown. The knockdown, I think it was in the 5th or the 4th. Um, but to get the knockdown like that, and then, you know, in round six, you, you make him not necessarily quit, but he's taking so much damage where he's like, I can't no more. Like, I'm done, you know, and he's looking out for his health and everything, you know. Um, so his team did the right choice because he was getting beat the fuck up. And I was generally like, dude, like, when are you going to drop or when is the team going to throw the white top? I, you know, I was like, it's ending soon. So he has those two performances like. Perfect, almost perfect performances. Just didn't get the knockout against Caleb, but close to perfect. And still chirping and calling out Canelo. When have we seen that besides Gennady Golovkin? So, and we all know how all that stuff turned out and everything. So there really hasn't been any major, big, scary contenders for Canelo. Only one I can think of besides, you know, David was Gennady Golovkin. And we saw that fight and we saw it three times and, you know, it was awesome. And now you have another guy, young guy, hungry guy, and he's just, you know, beating people up. And he's like, hey, man, like, I want my fight. I want my fight. But, hey, if you don't want to give it to me, I'm going to just keep fighting. And, like, 
putting more pressure on Canelo, and that's the best thing David could do. You know, he's like, man, look, if he wants to give me the fight, cool. If he don't, I'm still going to do what I got to do, and I'm going to be the best boxer in the world. And I got to respect that. You know, I got to take my hats off for David for that. Um, you know, so that that's the other reason why why we need this fight. I mean, the last the last real reason or the last best reason you could say, the fans want to see this fight. You know, we as fans want to see this fight. Um, we don't really get too excited when Canelo fights. At least I don't. I get excited when we see Canelo, you know, just show why he's the best. But, you know, the fact that we can see Canelo in some real trouble and, uh, you know, maybe feel somewhat of a pressure like, hey, like this guy could beat you, man. Like this guy's been calling you out. He's been knocking people out. And he wants, he wants you. He wants to fight you. And um, the people like, hey, like, you know, David could give a good run to Canelo for his money. Like, you know, it, it would just be a good fight. you know, and, and it would just be crazy. The fans would be crazy. The event would be crazy. It would just sell a lot of fight, a lot of uh, pay-per-views, a lot of tickets. It it would just be a huge event. Besides Canelo and, and Terrence Crawford, this is probably the second best fight you can make at the moment. So... You know, both of these guys are Mexican. Uh, David Benavides have Mexican, have, I want to say, Guatemalan. Guatemalan, yeah, from Guatemala or Ecuador, I'm not sure. But one of those is South uh, American countries. So not full Mexican, but part Mexican. And, and, I mean, he considers himself Mexican, which is pretty cool. And Canelo. So having that clash, I mean, it, it, you're, it's just fireworks, man. And, and, and we just want to see it now. A little bit about um, how I think the fight would go, you know. Um, I'm not going to give, like, a, a full detail prediction or whatever. But as much as, you know, David has, you know, won me over as a fan. Um, and, and I love Canelo. And I think he's the best boxer in the world at the moment. Uh, I think David could put Canelo in some really, really tough situations. But Canelo would just outskill him. And, and just take them all 12 rounds and and just make David work like hard for 12 rounds. And I think he would just exhaust David and, and just get the best of him, you know, and, and won't let frustrate David, won't let David do too much. But if David lands, you know, it, it could he could wobble uh, Canelo. So who knows, man, who knows? It, it would be a fucking banger without question. And we need that. We need this fight in 2024. Canelo's not getting any younger. David Benavidez is just getting better. And we want to see it. We want to see that fucking fight. So let me know what you guys think about David's performance. Let me know when we need to see this fight. Let me know what you guys think of how the fight would go. Honestly, let me know your predictions below in the comments. And, and I just want to hear the feedback on, on this fight.